Hello everyone, Dr. Boyd. Welcome back to Parently. Today we're going to discuss gestational hypertension. What does this mean and how is it diagnosed? The word gestational implies that you're pregnant. Hypertension means that you have elevated blood pressure, specifically 140 over 90 or greater. Gestational hypertension therefore only occurs in pregnancy. Now, this is a separate diagnosis from preeclampsia. What separates it? Preeclampsia, you have to have associated proteinuria. That means you're spilling protein in your urinalysis. So gestational hypertension does not have proteinuria, does not spill protein. However, you as a patient can have gestational hypertension that subsequently in the future, you start spilling protein, you would then go from a diagnosis of gestational hypertension to a diagnosis of preeclampsia. We have videos that discuss preeclampsia, specifically mild and severe, and I would encourage you to go to those videos. What do we do in gestational hypertension? Well, we simply monitor you. Many times, based on the severity of your gestational hypertension, you will be placed on an antihypertensive drug. That means a blood pressure drug. And again, it's also important to understand that gestational hypertension separates itself from chronic hypertension based on the time in the pregnancy that you were diagnosed. If your blood pressure was elevated prior to 20 weeks, 140 over 90, prior to 20 weeks, by definition, you have chronic hypertension. If your blood pressure is elevated 140 over 90, after 20 weeks and you don't have protein in your urine, by definition, you have gestational hypertension. Most of the time, your healthcare provider will put you on a blood pressure medicine, specifically labetalol. The other drug that oftentimes is used is Procardia. So you may hear both of those drugs being used. Sometimes, based on the severity of your gestational hypertension, both drugs will be used. Usually in that scenario, though, you're seeing a, a high-risk doctor called a maternal fetal medicine doctor in concert with your health care provider. You will have to be evaluated frequently with gestational hypertension, sometimes as frequently as every week to monitor your blood pressure. Also important with gestational hypertension that your fetus is evaluated. Usually this is done using non-stress testing, this can be done in the office if your healthcare provider offers this, or in the hospital. Also, they will perform serial sonograms or ultrasounds. That means they will monitor the size of your baby, the placenta of your baby, and the amniotic fluid volume of your baby. Very important to assess those and monitor those. I hope this was helpful today. Have a good day.